Well, I hope everybody had a nice Christmas, and um, for today I'd do another gas mask testing video. But this time, we're going to test something a bit more recent. It's a Scott GSR, so obviously a lot more recent than a lot of the old surplus Soviet masks. But, you know, it's still going to be interesting to see, because I don't think there's many videos of it being tested, because obviously it's a modern mask. So, um, just going to do the normal air freshener test. Apologies for not doing a video in a couple of weeks, but I've had sort of a really nasty cold and I've been working 40 hour weeks close to Christmas, so I haven't really had any time or energy for doing it, so we're going to test this. I don't know if I'll even smell the aerosol because, you know, oh, I still feel quite shit, but let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, the mask is on. Uh, it's quite a good fit, and obviously this is a very nice mask because it's a modern one. And these filters have been on there well over a year, so I don't know if these filters will still do anything, but I have a sealed wrapped lot of filters which I can actually use if I ever really needed to use a mask, because it's a new mask and I've got new sealed filters for it, so we're all good to actually a military standard with this one. So, um, down here as usual, we've got the aerosol. I'm going to spray a lot of it, as I said. I don't even know if I'll actually be able to smell this, but let's see what happens. I'm just going to put the camera down to try and avoid getting as much as possible of the moisture on there, but there's still quite a bit. Let's just wipe some of it off. But I think the camera's mostly clear this time compared to last time. Right, anyway. Um... So, I sprayed a good amount of it, I feel quite damp from it, and um, time at about a minute on there. So, um, yeah, Scott GSR, put in use by the British Army to replace the Gave on S10. Some people like it more than the S10, other people don't. Um, it's fairly comfortable. I'd say the S10 is slightly more comfortable because you feel less pressure on your face from the mask. The dual filter system on this is very clever. You can essentially remove one of the filters, which might be impossible to do with um, only one hand free, but the idea is that you can remove a filter and then it seals that side of the mask. So you can replace the filters one at a time in no rush because you're not worried about suffocating or um, actually, you know, uh, getting gas in the mask because it's um, got this clever design. The only disadvantage is it means it's actually harder to get surplus filters for the mask because um, there's obviously less around the design. Can't smell anything at all and that's been over a minute and yeah the mask's working absolutely fine as you would be would be surprised if it wouldn't be a mask but um, I can't really take this off because of how tight the straps are on camera, so I'll just stop the video here and then, you know, you can assume that the normal thing will happen that I'll obviously choke a bit when I take it off, but yeah, there we go. This mask works absolutely fine. <laughs> 